Hello everybody, my name is Isaiah and today I'm going to be analysing the Holy Lornography. In particular, I'm going to be looking at Derek or DJ and he's such a good character in the Lornography. Um, and my favourite thing about it is that Sherry Twist, she didn't need to put him in. <laughs> she could have just said, no, th no one's going to be there. Um, there's going to be no boys. It's just going to be... Um, it's just going to be Jesse. I think Jesse is, yeah, it's just going to be Jesse, my friend, Jess. But no, she had to say, yeah, boys might be there. Um, um, well, Derek is going to be there. Sherry Twist didn't need to say that. <laughs> she didn't have to wind up poor Lorne. Um, Lorne's already got a shit enough life as it is. Now he's got to worry about this other kid who's going to be competition for him. Another 13, 14 year old kid. But, um, yeah, so let's have a look. So, first, I, I know she mentions she has a boyfriend earlier. I'll get into that at a different time, but I'm just looking up Derek and DJ for this analysis. So, firstly, we see she says, he, he goes on here about saying, are you home alone? No. Or, okay. Okay, I don't know what time I'm going to be home, but I know it's going to be late, so don't wait up for me, okay? We, will ha we still have all day tomorrow to spend together. But don't go into any chat rooms at all, okay? So he's very protective of her. He doesn't want Kayla to go into any chat rooms. He wants Kayla all to himself. Because if, if she's falling for Lorne, imagine if they're actually a good guy, a good-looking guy who's nice, who's probably got some money, um, starts talking to Kayla. She'll, she'll forget about Lorne in two seconds. So he says, don't go into any chat rooms. He's very... Um, very protective, very jealous man. Please, please. <laughs> oh, anyway, she's like, okay, I'm not. Promise. I'm going to Jess' house anyways. Yes, I promise. Okay, good. So, she's saying she's going to Jess's house anyway. So, she could have just left it there, Sherry Twist. She didn't have to go into any more detail about who's going to be there. There's going to be any boys there. It would have made it so much more easier, but no. She had to say, oh, well, he said first, any boys? She could have said here, um, right here, no boys, or just simply, no. That's all she had to do. But no, she had to say, yeah. And this led to probably one of the funniest things in the whole Holy Lornography. For me, it's a very interesting story. I like how it unfolds. It's a different, um... It's a, it's a different story arc that occurs in the Holy Lornography and it's something that um, I can relate to because sometimes I can get jealous. Uh, I have a partner and I can get jealous too if they hang around guys. Um, so I can sort of relate to that. It, it, it's interesting, but he's way too protective. He, he hasn't even met Kayla and he's already worried and he's already overprotective. He's overprotective about the freaking chat rooms, let alone... Um, him, her meeting a guy so now that he knows that she might be meeting a guy that being Derek he's like oh no gotta be careful here so yeah here we are here so he, he she said I'm gonna be Jess gonna to go to Jess's any boys um yeah don't let them near you you're my girl now and forever right well, okay I won't so then she says well Derek is gonna be there that's not a problem because if you're going to be honest with me and you want me, then you won't go near him. Just tell him to stay away from you because if you don't, then you're going to lose me. So um, he, he plays a bit of a risk there because what if she turned around and said, well, well, he's my friend, I want to go near him. Then he would have been on the back foot and he would have had to have said, well, fine, you've lost me. And then he'd log off. <laughs> no, nah, he wouldn't do that. Not Lord, not horny, Lorny. No. Nah. But yeah, he put himself into a corner there a bit. Um, I don't know what he would have said if Kayla said, he's my friend, I want to I want to see him, I want to spend time with him. But I think he knew what she was going to say. I mean, she's already spoken 70, yeah, around 70 pages of content already up to this point. He, he, she's not going to blow him away for Derek. And she already said, I think earlier, she broke up with him because he was seeing someone else. So he, he knew he was safe here. And look, she did say it. She said, Kay, I will. Promise. I will, I promise. 
then cross my pinky. Um, and then, yeah, promise, promise you'll be honest with me. He's still going on about it. She said she promises she crosses her pinky. She does all this, and he's still saying, promise you'll be honest with me if anything happens. Thank you. I probably won't even talk to him. Pinky promise, smiley. Good, I hope not. Kiss. Um, still going on about it. I love you too. So that's the first um, um, altercation there about Derek. And it's it's resolved pretty easily and he gets he gets a bit worse later when <laughs> when, when she does talk to him. Um, I'll, I'll go to that now. So where's the next one? Here we go. So I think this is after... Yeah, so this is after they sw- at Jess's house. So Kayla's come back. Lauren, did you have fun? Yep. Good. Was Derek there? <laughs> Straight away, he's asking. Yeah. What happened? What do you mean? Did he try to talk to you? Did you talk to him? He said hi, and I said hi, and then I never talked to him again. Good. K- kiss. Kiss. So that ended pretty easily there. Uh, I don't think they spoke. Oh, yeah, just another thing. I haven't even read the Holy Lawnography. I've listened to Nathaniel, Nathaniel the Legend. Um, his great, um, his great uh, um, dialogue of, of him talking about the Holy Lawnography and him analysing it and him reading it. And Bass Charmins as well. They both do great uh, reads of the Holy Lawnography. But Nathaniel's isn't up anymore, so I can't listen to it. Hopefully, Nathaniel, if you're watching, you re- have to re-upload your... Um, you reading the Holy Lawnography, it's great, it's great. But yeah, at the moment, listening to Bass Shaman. So maybe I should read it myself um, if I have time. But yeah, I've only listened to it a couple of times. So I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't have that much of a thorough understanding like Nathaniel. <laughs> Nathaniel knows the whole thing back to front. But um, yeah, so the second time here, it's not too bad. He's, he's saying, was Derek there? Yeah. So it's okay. He didn't really go into... He didn't bug her anymore after she said that one time. I didn't didn't talk to him, so he was good there. We'll go to the next next time. So I think this is, I believe, just after school one day. So what did you think about when you thought about me today? How much I miss you. Smiley kiss. Have you talked to Derek? <laughs> just out of nowhere. <laughs> Have you talked to Derek? So I think, I don't know, I don't know the dates or anything. I'm pretty sure it'd be a day or a couple of days after Jess's house. So he's still a bit worried about Derek. It's still on his mind. He's he's thinking, shit, I've got to compete with a 13, 14 year old kid. Probably like a better looking kid than Lorne. Probably better looking than Lorne ever was. Nope. Cool. You tell me if you did, right? Question mark. You know I would. Good. Time my precious princess. I don't even know what that is. Um, and then, yeah, have you told my friends about me? Which also relates to Derek, because if she tells any friends, they're going to tell their parents. But also, Derek might find out. And imagine Derek thinking, oh, I've got some competition here. <laughs> I've got a competition with Lord Armstrong. <laughs> imagine liking a girl at your school, and then she says to you, Lord Armstrong is a man I'm talking to online. And you're like, shit. The son of Cord himself. <laughs> oh my god. I always think this is real. Like when I read the chat log or when I listen to Bay Shaman and Nathaniel, I really think Kayla's real. Um, it's just such a beautiful chat log. It's such a beautiful story. Um, but <laughs> it's not it's a shit story. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, so he's not too bad with this Derek um, altercation either. He just asks, it was pretty odd to ask, but he just asked, no. It'd be funny if, like, after every day, he kept asking, was Derek there? Did you talk to Derek? Did Derek talk to you? Did you see Derek? <laughs> but I think Derek's in her class, so it'd get a bit tedious if he said every single day, did you see Derek? Did you see Derek? And I think Kayla would get sick of it. Um, and I think that could have opened a box of worms for Sherry Twist, because... She started, she mentioned the boyfriend at the start. She didn't have to do that. Sherry Twist could have easily just said, no, I didn't have a boyfriend. And all these extra pages of dialogue about Derek this, Derek that, would have saved her so much more time. Um, 
But no, she had to say, I have a boy. I had a boyfriend. His name was Derek or DJ. Um, yes, Derek was at this party. And um, I think she might have been regretting it a bit here. Nope, just straight away. Nope, nope, cool. Tell me if you did right. You know I would. So it's just extra little things, extra little sentences, more words she has to type to Lorne. Um, I honestly think she just brought up Derek in the first place because she was bored. She was so sick of talking about Mr. Penis. and Oh, I don't think they actually talked about that yet. But just so sick of fucking Lauren. She wanted to spice things up. Maybe get Lauren a bit jealous. Make him try a bit harder. Um, and maybe he would have come to the, the sting operation if if his um, relationship was in jeopardy from Derek. So maybe it was a good play by Sherry Twist. Maybe Derek was the key to why um, our Lauren and Saviour was actually <laughs> caught. <laughs> our Lauren and Saviour was caught. Derek is the key, uh, and now the next, the best, um, the best phase of the whole Derek dialogue is the next one. I think, yeah, this is the best one. Um, page one twenty five. So, Lauren, what have you been doing all day? I don't know. Where? At Haley's. Is that where you were last night? Yeah. Were any boys there? Um, yeah. Who? Hmm. Let's see. Cody, Tyler, Derek, Maria, Jesse, Haley, Milo. See, she didn't have to say Derek. Why did she have to be an asshole? Sherry Twist, I mean, it's so funny. It juices up the lawnography. It makes it so much more exciting. Controversy, um, the story arcs um, leading to what's going to happen now. It's, it's just great what she's doing. But for her sake, she didn't have to do that. She could have just said, she could just go to this. Hmm. Let's see, Cody, Tyler, Marie, Jesse, Haley, And then Lorne, Lorne would have just been like, okay, great, lol. And then this whole extract, this whole thing here about Derek um, wouldn't have happened. But no, she had to say that, so. Uh, where are we? Yeah. It's just a funny, funny thing. Milo. Derek? Ex Derek? Yeah. That Derek. I don't know why Sherry Twist capitalised with that, but it really, um, I'm saying it again, but it just juices up the monography. I can imagine her saying, yeah, that Derek, my ex Derek. Did you talk to him? Yeah, a little. Gonna tell me about it? It was no big deal, really. Okay, so you're going to tell me about it then, Lowell? And Nathaniel always talks about this, um, I'll, I'll give him props to it. The little lull on the end really makes it less, um, a less intimidating threat. Like, so are you going to tell me about it? I can imagine that. So are you going to tell me about it then? But the lull just makes it seem a bit kinder, a bit nicer. Um, um, yeah, a lot, a lot nicer. Where were we? Oh, we're back at the start. Hang on. That Derek, did you talk to him? K. He said, hi, Kayla. I said, hi, DJ. He said, how you doing? I said, I'm doing okay. That was all. And then all Kayla had to say, <laughs> again, all Sherry had to say was, that's it. Like, yep. That was all. But no, no, no. She had to say, no, I'm thinking. He said, why don't you talk to me anymore? I said, because you're an ass, lol. Lol. Good one, huh? That's my baby, lol. Smiley. Kiss. Um, Rose. It's so funny. Um, it's just playing to, playing to the story. It's almost like Sherry Twist knew what was happening. She knew that one of the greatest religions on planet Earth was arising, and she's in the middle of it. She's writing the scriptures here. Sherry Twist is a, a prophet writing the scriptures. She's the scribe of Cord. And if it wasn't for her, this whole beautiful segment of Derek, this whole character wouldn't have come into place. So thank you, Sherry. Thank you for not stopping and saying, no, he wasn't there. Thank you for saying, DJ and Derek was here. Very good. Very good. Kayla. And he said, well, you like her, you still... Wait. Then he said, well, you know I still like you. And what did you say? I said, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Still, oh, Sherry Twist, you fucking legend. And he said, I really do. And I said, yeah, okay, DJ. 
Then he said something else, but I can't remember what it was. So then I went and talked to someone else. So then later, get this, he comes and sits by my right. Oh, shit. Kayla, Sherry, she's really getting low and angry. Um, I think this is a bit of revenge. And I swear to God, Sherry would have been so close just saying, He comes and sits by me, right? And we kiss and make love. Can you imagine that? It would have been great or... He comes and sits by me, right? And we fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been gold. Absolute gold. But no, it didn't happen. Actually, the story might have ended there. If she did say something bad. He comes and sits by me, right? We kiss and make love. Lorne might have just been like... Okay, bye. Because she's used. She's, she's not that um, innocent little girl that he thought she was. She's used goods now. And that's what Lauren was looking for. Someone who's not used goods. Someone who's innocent. Like Kayla. Like Kayla Moore. So maybe it's good she didn't do that. Maybe we wouldn't have ever um, seen the sacrifice. And even heard of the sacrifice that Lauren was going to make us. Um, we would have never heard of our Lord and Saviour if Kayla or Sherry said that. So maybe it's good. Maybe it's good she stopped there. I think she knew what Lauren was about at this point. She knew that Lauren wanted a girl, a virgin girl, 13 years old, untouched. And so she was just, she was getting close to the line that Lauren was going to say, no, I want, no, no, this isn't good anymore. But let's be honest, even if she was, he's a pedo. He's going to get with her anyway. It might not be as good, but. He's still a fucking pedo. <laughs> He's a pedo lord. <laughs> oh, I would have loved if just in the chat room they just did this. Pedo. <laughs> pedo lord. Decoy Gala. Oh, fuck. And like every single, every single thing was like some other thing. Dumb lawn. Fuck lawn. Ugly lawn. <laughs> Bald lawn. Oh, I would have been great. So what's next? I don't want him to sit by you. He puts his arm around me and tries to kiss me. And he's told him I don't think so. So he got mad and said fine then. And didn't talk to me for the rest of the night. Good. I don't like him. Oh, you don't even know him. He's trying to make a move on you. I don't like it. No, he's gonna make a move if I don't let him. Yeah, no, but I didn't like it when you told me he sat beside you. Then I started getting more mad when you told me he put his arm around you. <laughs> if he would have kissed you, you, I would have been completely pissed off. Well, he didn't, so no worries. I wish you were here with me. Me too. So he sort of just ends it there. Um, yeah, he just completely stops there. That's the end of that whole Derek segment. And that's mainly the climax here. This was the climax to the whole Derek situation here. Um... When he sat right next to her, and then when he put his arm around and tried to kiss her, Lorne would have been furious. That's like a 97, 90, that's like a, um, yeah, it's like a 10 second turnaround of probably 10 seconds that he was furious when he was reading that. In, the, in those 10 seconds before he made that face, I don't even know what it is, angry face, he was probably sitting there thinking about having his hands around the neck of um, DJ, around Derek. He would have been pissed off, man. Um, what, can you imagine Lord fighting a little kid? No, Kayla's mine. Cord, get off me, cord. Ah, fucking Derek beating him up would have been great. Um, is there any more Derek stuff? But I wonder if Lorne... Yeah, I wonder if Lorne would have actually done anything to Derek or tried to find Derek when he actually went to meet the decoy. Um, he would have been pissed off. He would not have liked... Derek having his lips and his arms around uh, Kayla Marie. Interesting, interesting. There's so much to analyse here. I'll do other parts too. Um, I don't know. Yeah, is there any more? Where's the first with Derek? Here's the climax. Derek, Derek, Derek. <laughs> oh, Derek going to be there. Where's this? Oh, we're back to start. Um, I know there's another actual 
There's more dialogue. I'll have to try and find it. Yeah, so this is really late. This is 221 pages in, so it's 382 pages, the Holy Law Nography, on Word. Um, so it's, yeah, very late in it. So read. So it's probably just talking about penis or some shit. <laughs> Oh, what else would Lord be talking? <laughs> what else would the fucking Lord be talking about? Um, if you want to, or we can just wait until we get back here. Oh, they're talking about when they actually meet. What would you want to do if you were here with me right now? Typical lawn. Give you a big kiss and hug. Smile. Smile. Then what? I don't know what you do next. I want to know what you want to do next. I don't know. All me and DJ ever really did was kiss. Not sure what to do next. What are you looking at? I'm looking at Bud. Ooh, so... I don't know. All me and DJ ever really did was kiss. So, why did Cherry Twist have to bring DJ in again? I reckon Cherry was trying to stir some shit up here. Look, Lorne didn't really react to it. He didn't start going on about DJ. I don't think he even talked about DJ anymore. It goes on about flies or some fucking bullshit. I'm so happy I met you too. Smile. Do you wish you could put things up on your MySpace about me, Law? Yeah. What would you put up if you could? More questions, more questions. But, yeah, didn't re- really react to um, DJ or Derek being talked about here. Just just left it. He actually avoided the whole question after that. What do you want me to do next? Um, what you would want to do next? I don't know, what me and DJ really did was kiss, not sure what to do next. What are you looking at? I'm looking at Bud. Oh, so Kayla um, initiated the next um, next questions about 30 seconds later. Um, yeah, so she didn't answer the question, but she put that little knife through Lauren's heart. DJ, Derek, God, why did Derek have to exist? God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great thing. Derek's a great character. Um, any more? I think that's it. Oh, there's more. This is really late. 263. Um, did you, Oh, here we go. Did you talk about... Oh, this is the sleepover or something. I remember this. I remember Nathaniel and Basham talking about this. So what did you girls talk about, lol? Let me guess. It had to be girly stuff. Lol. Well, yeah. Lol. Did you talk about boys? Yeah. Oh my god, I know where this is going. Derek. Okay, fill me in. No. Yep, lol. It's just girl stuff. I know, but I want to know what was said about boys, lol. He's so jealous right now. They're probably talking about, like, six-pack abs. Um, they're probably not talking about penises. They're 30-year-old girls. They'll be talking about pe- are they talking about... <laughs> He's talking about penis. <laughs> they're talking about, like, probably One Direction. Oh, no, it's 2006. Who was big in 2006? Little girls. I don't know. They're just talking about, like, boys in, like, boy bands or just cute boys on TV shows and other cute boys. Um, cute boys in the class. They're not talking about 36-year-old penises and fucking bold guys. <laughs> Fat, chubby, fucking disgusting men. Just dumb stuff. Like, lol, he really wants to know here. I don't know, just boys at school. Anything about DJ? <laughs> Straight away, straight away, Le- about 10 or 11 seconds after that. Anything about DJ? Because boys and school, for him, he thinks DJ, straight away. Number one threat, DJ. No, lol. Good, lol. Okay, so obviously there was nothing said that is going to upset me, so just tell me, please, lol. So the only thing that could upset Lorn is DJ. <laughs> DJ, DJ, DJ. DJ is Lorne's kryptonite, and it's not even the, um, it's not even the, uh, Actually, not really his kryptonite. It's his fuel. It's, it's, it's what drives him and motivates him and angers him. If you, if he, imagine if she sent a pic of DJ to Lorne. He'd use it as one of those... Um, he'd go to like a gun shooting range and hang it up on the wall to shoot at. Or he'd put it on his um, background for his... Oh, no, it's Nokia. He'd probably have a Nokia phone. He'd put it somewhere that he could see it all the time and he'd look at it and say, I'm getting this job... So I can fucking beat you, DJ. Beat you to my Kayla Marie. He'd be at the gym and he'd be pumping iron and then he'd have a little picture in his pocket of Kayla and he'd say, come on, Kayla, I'm doing this for you. And when he was getting tired, he'd look in the other pocket and there'd be a picture of DJ and he'd get out those last few reps. Fucking DJ, I'll fucking smash you, can't. 
<laughs> oh lord, but he didn't even go to the gym. I wonder if Lawn's ever been to the gym. He's got the build, like he. I remember he looks like he has pretty big forearms. Um, so he's done a lot of. Maybe he's done some manual labor throughout his life. Like I don't know what's involved in the septic tank um, industry. I'm guessing he may, he wouldn't have been working up in head office up there. He'd probably have been working like installing septic tanks and getting shit all over it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, it really it really motivates him. Gets angry. It gets him upset. DJ Derek. It was just silly stuff. So tell me a little. Please, winky face. They were just talking about their BF. And, lol, why didn't you want to tell me? Because it's silly. Just tell... Oh, you know what? Sherry Twist is probably just thinking of something here. Like, what am I going to fucking tell him? Like, what, abs? Because that will get him annoyed because he doesn't have abs. And he'll be like, oh, am I disgusting because I don't have abs? And she's got to listen to Lorne be all depressed again for another night. And fucking winch cry. And fuck this, fuck that. Fuck you, Lorne. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Lord, why do you want to know? Because it's part of you that I want to know more. It's part of your life and what goes on in your life. You're not talking to me. That's like a minute. Less, it's like just over a minute later. Okay. Okay, now you are low. We talked about a BF. Jesse talked about how she... As she said, she's because her BF broke up with her. Haley talked about a boy she likes. That's it. Oh, are you upset because you couldn't say anything about me? Kind of. I'm sorry, precious. Can you just imagine Kayla in a circle with Haley, Jesse, Maria, and they're talking, and Maria's like, yeah, my BF, um, he's pretty, like, he's skinny, he's been playing footy on the weekend, but it's soccer, um, in class today, he was really nice. And Jesse's like, yeah, my BF, he broke up, um, he's, um, we can't, we can't go around and do homework anymore together, because he, he's not with me anymore. And then Haley's like, yeah, my boy, he's so cute. In class today, he did this and that. And at soccer practice, he was, um, he gave me a wink. And then Kayla's like, <laughs> Lord, yeah, Lord showed me his penis last night at camp. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Lord was talking about Mr. Peters and his vagina. And we were, he was in, I was experimenting for him and I got to see his fat ass and his fucking huge fucking obliques. Fucking fat piece of shit. Oh, I'm so happy that Lorne got caught. Absolutely great. And along the way, it wasn't all um, happy sailing for Lorne. He had to deal with Derek and get worried about DJ. I hope Lorne stressed about DJ. Um, I really hope he would go to bed at night and say, this fucking Derek guy, he's fucking pissing me off. I hope Kayla doesn't speak to him. It's 13-year-old kid, Lorne. What, are you going to murder a kid? Fucking you get Alright, till next time boys, see you then.